I know, I know, you stopped using TypeScript because it's hard as f right well let me tell you this there is a way to write the type definitions in an easier way in this short video i'll be providing you with a boost to start using zod for your own needs first what is zod well zod is a library that provides a way to define and validate the shape of your data in typescript it helps you ensure that the data you are working with is of the correct type and structure which can be especially useful when working with complex or nested data structures no you don't need to be bell gates to use it you can even use it with vanilla javascript but you should probably use typescript now we know what the f is zod let's start by understanding the technique of working with zod first import zod from zod oh look at you a stupid little programmer who forgot to install zod so cute now you can import it and to use it first you need to define a schema which defines the shape of your data we both know the only data you got in your head is that you got no big for example, let's say you have an object that represents a person with properties that is a name, age, and occupation. You could define the shape of this data like this. Create the schema, then define your object inside the zod function. Then define the name and its type by writing zod.string for making its type a string. Then go ahead and define the age and the occupation in the same way. Now you have the schema, but one thing I want to mention before we dive in, and that is all the properties you write inside the schema is required and you have to use it now that we created the schema we need to validate it you can use the parsed function to do that which is going to be like this create an object that contains the same shit above then parse the schema using the parse function and pass in the object you just created if the object confirms to the schema it will return the parsed object if not it will throw a son of a cute error and let's be honest no one wants a son of a cute error when they are trying to shape their data but wait there's more that also provides features like required fields default values and advanced type definitions like unions and intersections basically it's got all the tools you need to get your data looking in the best shape the documentation will be down below for advanced explanation now get the fuck out of here and get your data in shape also check out this video to see what happened when i asked chat gbt the scariest question ever and thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one